चिकन मैरिनेशन परफेक्ट तो ऑयल सेपरेटिंग फ्रॉम दैट ग्रेवी ये भी परफेक्ट सो व्हाट्स कुकिंग टुडे तो आज बनाएंगे इन एवरी मुगले रेस्टोरेंट में फिक्स्ड मेन्यू आइटम चिकन चंगेजी एंड एज ऑलवेज आई ट्राई टू सिंपलीफाई इट एज मच एज आई कैन और जो भी ये खाएगा कहेगा मजा आ गया तो रेसिपी स्टार्ट करते हैं विद द चिकन का मैरिनेशन हम यूजिंग सम करी कट चिकन हो भाई लार्ज पीसेस है मैरिनेशन गोज इन सम लेमन जूस अलोंग विद सम जिंजर एंड गार्लिक पेस्ट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ योगर्ट सम कश्मीरी चिली पाउडर कोरिएंडर पाउडर जीरा पाउडर गरम मसाला एंड सम स्पाइसी चिली पाउडर इज वेल एड इन द सॉल्ट एंड जस्ट मिक्स दिस ऑल अप मेक श्योर एवरीथिंग इज कम्बाइंड दिस नीड्स टू मैरिनेट फॉर एटलीस्ट वन आवर यू कैन एक्चुअली कीप दिस आउटसाइड टू मैरिनेट इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन कीप इट इन द फ्रिज इज वेल बट मिनिमम वन आवर ना बिफोर यू मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टॉक अब द कुक वेट आई यूज इन माई Videos. This is the Stahl Artisan Hybrid Series Triply Stainless Steel Cookware, which is stick resistant, metal spoon friendly, and is just perfect for every home. I've been using these for years. And if you wish to shop or upgrade your cookware, I've shared the shop link in the description below. And don't forget to use this coupon code for an additional discount. Moving on to the recipe. Now we're going to start making the onion and tomato ka masala. You can use butter and oil, or you can use ghee and oil. Into this, we're going to add some whole spices. I've got some bay leaves, cloves, black pepper, cardamom. There's some mace in this as well. Just going to fried for a few seconds and then goes in the sliced onions add a little bit of salt and just keep frying this for at least couple of minutes on medium heat you don't want a lot of color to happen as soon as the onions go translucent it's time to add in the tomatoes these are just roughly chopped tomatoes don't worry about the cut all of this actually needs to blend together so just add in the tomatoes fried for a few minutes and just cover this with a lid and just let the tomatoes soften I think it takes about 2 or 3 minutes for this to happen after which this is done this is ready to be taken off the heat and it needs to cool down completely before you blend it now i need to blend this along with a few other ingredients i've got some melon seeds which are soaked over here and we're also going to add some soaked cashew nuts Now the gravy needs to be a nice bright red color which I felt the tomatoes would lack a bit so I'm just adding a touch of tomato puree to this before I just blend this all together you can even remove the whole spices if you want but I've just kept it in there just blend it into this nice thick paste and keep it aside now the chicken has marinated well we're just going to pan fry this in some oil you don't want to cook the chicken all the way through just needs to be on high heat and just get a nice sear on it a little charring will just help bring out that smokiness in the dish also remember do this in batches don't overcrowd the pan otherwise the chicken will leave a lot of water and it'll just become like a curry so you want a nice sear to happen Once that's done we just going to take this and keep this aside. Finally it's time to make the gravy. So in a kadhai goes in a lot of butter and a lot of oil. If you wish to reduce the amount of butter and oil feel free to do so but oil and butter are important to fry the masala. In goes all the spice powders along with some ginger and garlic paste. We're going to fry this for a couple of minutes. Then we're going to add the masala that we had made. This masala needs to fry really well for at least 7 to 8 minutes. I'm also going to add some yogurt along with a little more tomato puree to give it that red color not wasting any of that marination into this we're going to add like half a cup of water make sure you get all that marinate and just pour it into the gravy as i said this needs to fry for at least 8 to 9 minutes season it well and just cover it and set it on medium low heat make sure you keep coming back to it and stirring it occasionally so that nothing sticks to the bottom but eventually you'll see all this oil separate from the masala which is just what you want now we're going to add some slit chilies into this add in the chicken in goes another half a cup of water to just cook the chicken set this on medium low heat and again we're going to cook this for about 7 to 8 minutes with the lid on remember occasionally stir karna hi hai so that nothing sticks to the bottom and eventually the oils will separate and look beautiful like this last few ingredients chop coriander julian ginger give that a quick mix that's it that's the recipe my friends i've shared a detailed recipe in the description below so do check that out and if you watched the video till here please do subscribe to the channel like the video hit that bell icon and now i'm going to enjoy some chicken chungezi and i'll see you guys later bye